Hector back again. Uh, this time I'm doing a quick review on a flight controller from FPVmodel.com. We've got the X Racer uh, 303, F303. So I just want to give you a quick look at it and we'll go over it. So let's get into it. So uh, here we have the board in it. How you? This is everything you get in the pack. So you get your F3 board. A um, weird ass connector that I don't know what you're going to use that for, and you get some straight pin headers. Um, now, I first, first off the bat, before I start delving into the board, I do want to sort of just make a quick suggestion that you, um, that FPV model, I should say, get rid of this, and um, you know maybe throw one or two of these in. Get rid of that. Who? I, I honestly, God, I don't know who uses that. Maybe for your um, your PDB or something. I don't know, but yeah, most serious racers are just going to chuck that and throw in some 90 degree three pin headers um, in a few different orientations and whatnot. Like these, I think, are going to be used a lot more than straight pins. So, um, like personally. For uh, for S bus in on the dedicated S bus in, I'm just going to have a pin running in on the side there like that. Um, it takes up a lot less room than having having pins upright. So yeah, chuck a throw a few of those in for people, but I would definitely throw these in. Um, you know, throw that away. Chuck some 90 degree um, three pin headers in, and we're laughing. So now a quick look over the the F303 board. Um, hopefully, I assume if you're looking at this video, you've already you've seen Josh's videos. You've been doing a bit of research, and you're sort of just checking out what you know other people's thoughts. So here's mine. Uh, pretty well laid out board. I was actually um, when they were designing this board, I gave them a few suggestions myself. What I would like to see. And they took that on heart with the um, the pin headers and the UARTs broken out. However, um, it, it, it does lack a couple of things, and we'll get into that. First, let's just talk about what it does have. It is an F3 board, so um, the advantages of the F3 is a floating point unit on the CPU. So um, PID, PID controllers like Lux Float, uh, things like that, can run a lot faster, and you can still have your accelerometer enabled and have a 2 kilohertz refresh rate on an F3 board versus an F1 board where if you want that 2k you need to disable your accelerometer whereas uh, this board you won't have to so that's one of the major advantages of the F3 is the floating point unit it allows much faster processing of PID controllers and, um, and more time to do other things so I could run Lux float have my accelerometers enabled and have my LED strip and have black box on the UART and have an OSD on another UART um, you know that's the advantage of an F3 uh, another advantage of this board is the push button bootloader I do like that uh, it's, it's the sort of thing you're gonna have to think about when you're mounting and you know make sure no wires you don't want that accidentally getting hit in flight I don't know what that would do but I do really like the push button ideas um, Orientation seems good, you know, that's forward, we've got our USB port out to the side and we can either have our motors front or back, that's awesome. Um, 128 meg flash, that's the highest out there. We've got our buzzer pins on the bottom here to solder to and what else? Oh, that's right, it is, um, we've got our our um, Spectrum satellite port up the top here and our SBUS dedicated port down here. It is missing the V battery input and as other people have stated, I mean, you could solder onto one of those pins. That's a job I reckon I probably could do but to be honest I don't use battery, battery uh, monitoring and if I do it's hooked straight into my uh, FR Sky receiver, so I'm getting it direct to my radio and not running through the board at all. Um, it's just that's a personal preference, 
and I do believe that most serious races are going to have it set up that way as well, where it's going straight into their FR Sky receiver and they're getting the, the most recent sort of feedback instead of coming through the um, through the board. So, um, yeah, basically my only complaint really is is the pins. I, I would like some, um, some of these 90 degree things in there, but yeah, I'm going to uh, set this up on my racer this is this is my racing quad so i'm going to pull this apart um i'll probably video it as well just basic install of this board and setup um, for me i'm still deciding i actually think i might be um hard soldering my escs onto this board and i might have the connector for for the um for the receiver but essentially it's receiver in motors out and i'm done um I don't run OSDs, I don't run black box, um, I've got onboard flash so I'll use that black box. Um, yeah, basically, it, it, it's a pretty good damn board for the price, that's for sure. F3 um, processing for 27 odd bucks, so um, yeah, you can't really complain. Yeah, um, I know it's worth a shot, I'll video it in action, um, installing it, tuning it flying it see what I think um, but I mean hey it's a cheap F3 board it's the next step up from the F1s there's not much I can really complain about it so um, yeah I think they've done a good job here and nearing into the future you know I think F4 boards or you know possibly F7 boards are going to be the next thing but um, F3 is definitely you know taken over the F1s and sort of if you're looking for a new board these days you're gonna buy a new one grab an F3, they're cheap enough, um, you know, if, you, if you've already got an F1 flying around, you like, floating around, and, and you've got one there, then use it, you know, like, with the 2 kilohertz stuff, you, unless you're a really, really good pilot with fast reactions, um, you're not going to notice the difference between the F1 and the F3, so if you've got the F1 sitting around, just use them, if you don't, and you're buying a new board, get an F3, I mean, they're cheap enough now, why not? Hopefully that's helped a little bit, and um, yeah, I'll try and keep you updated. Catch you on the next one.